Okay, naming your table. Our table is missing a title. We want to add a title row that goes all the way across the top. To do this, we need to use the call span attribute for the table header tag, or th tag. By default, table cells take up one column. If we want a table cell to take up the space of three columns instead of one, we can set the column span attribute to three. This looks like this, table head <clears throat> column span equals quote three, end quote. So step one, go to the results view, or go to the result view, we've added the title row for you, but it only spans one column right now. Make the column span two columns with the call span attribute by adding the attribute call span equals two to the table header tag. <clears throat> that should do the trick. Okay, so um, let me move this over a little bit. All right, so I can see that the famous monsters by year does not go all the way across. So I'm going to go to my table header tag here, and I put call span equals, and then within quotation marks, two. And then that makes it go all the way across. Great. Return to the results view again. Our title span is two columns. OK, save and submit. All right, next lesson, style that head. Your table is starting to look great, but it's still a little bland. We've gone ahead and added some styling to the table to make it a bit easier to read. It's your job to add the finishing touches. Feel free to play around with any of the style attributes we've added. You'll learn much more about this, these things during the later CSS course. If you want to add more than one style, you just separate your styles with a semicolon, like so. So here we see font size, full colon 12px, and then a semicolon, color full colon red. Instructions make the famous monster and the birth year labels emphasized. Uh, for example, make them italicized. Okay, so to do that, all we have to do is use the emphasize tags. So I'm going to go to my famous monster tag, and I'm going to uh, surround that with the em tag. So there's the opening em tag, and then the ending em tag. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing with the birth year. I will make that M in front of that, and then closing M after that. All right, step two, make the famous monsters by birth year, title in red. Okay, so here's the famous monsters uh, title. So here I've got call span equals two. I can go ahead and add a style attribute, style equals, and two columns. And then to color it red, I just say color, full colon, red. And that should do it. And that did do it. All right, I'll go ahead and save and submit. Okay, recap. Whoosh, we've learned quite a bit. What can you do now? One, write an HTML comment. Two, create a list ordered and unordered. Three, make, a, make text stand out using the EM and strong tags. Four, change the color size and alignment of text using style attribute. Five, create HTML tables. Instructions, hit save and submit code to complete this section and learn about two incredibly useful tags, div and span. Okay, so I'll go ahead and save and submit. All right, divide and conquer. One of the most versatile structure tags available to you is the div uh, division tag. Short for division, uh, div allows you to divide your page into containers, that is, different pieces. This will come in handy when you begin learning CSS in the next unit. You'll be able to style different parts of your website individually. Check out the result tab. You should see three blocks, one red, one blue, one green. Each one is its own div container. And so we see that we've got a div style, and there's three different divs, and they're all different. Instructions, now you try. On line 10, create your own div and give it the background color of yellow. Use the width and the height syntax we've used for the other div tags as a guide. Okay, so I'll just take one of these div tags that they've already got up here. I'm going to copy it and paste it right below. I'll just go here and change the color so instead of being green, it's going to be yellow. All right, that gives us another box. We'll save and submit. Oh boy. Okay, link it. Nice work. As you can probably guess, 
the smart use of divs will eventually allow you to create visual HTML objects like sidebars, menus, and more. Just like with images, you can make divs clickable by wrapping them in the anchor tags. Instructions. Go ahead and make your yellow div link to your favorite site. Check the hint if you need a refresher. Okay, so I'm just going to take this last div tag that I've got here and I'm going to wrap it in the anchor tags. So I'll put anchor href equals and then I'm going to go ahead and use http full colon forward slash cnn.com. It's easy to write. Then I've got to put my ending angle bracket and then and that's going to be within the anchor tag, so I'll put my ending anchor tag at the end. Now that should be hot, and if I hover over it, I see that the cursor changes to a hand, and if I click on it, it does bring me to CNN. All right. I'll go ahead and save and submit that code and start the new lesson. Spamtastic. While the div allows you to divide your web page into pieces, you can style individual spans. Um, allows you to control styling for smaller parts of your page, such as text. For example, if you always want the first word of your paragraphs to be read, you can wrap each first word in span tags and make them read using CSS. Instructions for now will continue to use the style attribute to change colors. Wrap the word red in the editor in span tags and give the span tag style the color red. Notice how only the words between the span tags changes color. Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to find the word red. Here's the word red. We're going to put some span tags around it. So there's an opening span tag, closing span tag. All right. <clears throat> now we're going to go into that first span tag and give it an attribute. We're going to give it style equals and within two quote, quotation marks we're going to say color full colon red and that did turn the word red excellent go ahead and save and submit that and start the next lesson all right span is the man great you're getting you're really getting the hang of this these tags can be a little bit tricky though so let's go through one more example color is just one attribute you can selectively change within the span tags you can also change font size, font family, and any other style attribute you can think of. Instructions. Use the span tag to style the word impact with a font family of impact. Leave the rest of the text as is. Don't include the exclamation point in the span tags. All right, so here's my impact. So I'll go ahead and put a span tag in front of that. So there's my opening span tag. And I'll put my closing span tag, making sure that I do not include the exclamation mark. And now within my span tag, I'll put an attribute style equals, and then within two quotation marks, I'll put, uh, let me see, it's supposed to be font family impact, so I'll put font hyphen family full colon impact with a capital I. All right, and that did change the font to impact. Great. So I'll submit the code and start a new lesson. All right, recap. Great work. In addition to what you've already learned, you now know how to, one, divide up your web page for easy styling with div tags, two, select pieces of text and change their properties using span tags. In the next course, we'll see how we can take much of the styling we've been doing, such as controlling font family, font color, and text alignment, and put it in its own separate file. By doing that, we can use tags like div and span to impart style to our pages without writing style equals color red every single time. All right, instructions. We've given you a taste of how span can be powered by CSS in the editor. Check it out in the results tab. All right, cool. Hit save and submit code to finish this course and move on to the beautiful world of CNS, CSS. All right, we're done. Next course.